What's happening? Andy here. I am joined today by Mike Marusic of Sharp Electronics. How are you today, Mike? Great, Andy. Great to see you. I even uh, got dressed up for you today and even threw on a jacket just because it was you. Well, you look fabulous. I'm very happy to see you. Um, love the hats in the background and and you wearing a jacket. That's awesome. You know, I know you guys are very casual over there with the untucked shirts. And uh, there you go. Uh, so it's nice to see you dress up and, and act a little professional. Um, end of the year, we haven't chatted in a bit and I, I wanted to check in. How's everything going at Sharp? How's Montvale? How's your team? What's what's shaking out there? Yeah, you know, it's been a great year. Um, we're closing out strong, which is exciting. I mean, it's been uh a couple of years of continuous growth, which is is wonderful. Um, the last two months have been phenomenal. Uh, you know, we just we just closed out November, uh, so our document dealer business is doing tremendous. Uh, we're 120 percent plan, about 125 percent of last year. Um, so that's pretty strong business in the document channel, and uh, all of our businesses are doing well. So I think that uh, you know we just got to close out December strong and uh, keep it going. But you know, we we have uh, even though it's the end of the year. Um, we're a Japanese company, so we ended in March. So it's kind of just starting, uh, you know, the the, the pressure of uh, having fiscal, right? So yeah. it's, it's it's been great, uh, and a lot of things going on. Just you know, getting the business ready for the coming year. So uh, very exciting tonight. Very busy. Very busy. Yeah, busy is right. You guys are crazy this year. I think you had some road shows early in the year, and then you did have a big uh, your big dealer show, your semi annual dealer show was was this year, and that was a huge success. You guys launched. Um, you launched some pretty significant production print gear um, that was, you know, a big step up for you guys. Uh, and then you you officially, I think, showcased it at the Print United show uh, a couple months ago. So let's talk about your maybe some of your move into production. And then I, I do want to kind of check back and, and discuss maybe where some of that um, that growth has come from and, and, and that you alluded to in your, your opening statements there. Yeah, you know, um, obviously the production is a huge new initiative. Um, just over here on my desk is the announcement bulletin where we share everything with the dealers. Going through with a fine tooth comb right now, but, uh, you know, it's it's a big initiative for Sharp, right? And it was a space that we weren't in previously. So there's a lot of work to be done. Um, you know, we're hiring like crazy in the space. So um, we've more than tripled our headcount in the production area um, just in the last couple of months. And obviously uh, when the product comes out, uh, it's officially out in March, although as we speak today, um, it's being produced. Um, and then obviously we go through, since it's our first, we're going to go through some very rigorous, uh, you know, QA testing um, to take it out. But it's an established product in the market. I think everyone understands that. Yeah. And so we're pretty confident how that's going to come out. But we'll be announcing the product shortly to the dealers um, with all the pricing and, and detail specifications. Uh, also training schedules, a lot of training uh, to do around that product. And that's partially why we brought on so many new people. Uh, with expertise in that area. And uh, we brought on a lot of people for field support. So all that's going on right now. I mean, as I speak, we're, we're actually doing some internal trainings on the product here uh, in beautiful Montanvale. As, as you joke, the weather here is just so lovely. Uh, you know, that December overcast skies that we just love in the Northeast. But, you know, a lot of excitement around that product. And so the next phase, obviously, is bringing it out to the dealer community. Um, and there's, you know, I will say that I won't call them pre-orders. Uh, we haven't accepted any orders yet, but we have met with, you know, obviously all the leading uh, dealers that make sense for this category of product. And the interest is tremendous. So I'm very excited about that. Well, I guarantee the interest okay. is tremendous because you've got a lot of dealers who have been, you know, with their, some of their other brands probably going up against that product for for a little bit. And they, you know, they, they probably learned to respect it a little. So um, congrats on that. What, what did you think of of Print United for your, you know, your first time being there is, you know, showcasing and what did you think of that show? It's a very different show for you guys. Oh yeah. Very different show. And, you know, as much as um, this product is elite for sure, right. Um, you go to Print United and you realize that's kind of at the border entry of, uh, you know, true print. I mean, you, know, you see in their multi-million dollar, um, you know, products and, and usually I walk around a show and, and I know all the vendors and I, I kind of know all the faces and I walked around and, and really studied, and I was amazed at how much I didn't know, um, which is hence why we brought on so many people who do know. Um, you know, that was a big part of our strategy is realizing we don't know everything. But you go to uh, Printing United, and you see the the upside opportunity in those spaces, right? Now, not everything uh, fits our market, but certainly an experience uh, for me just to learn those new categories. 
Yeah, it, it's it's an impressive show. I mean, we didn't we didn't actually go this year, but I did see a good number of your team on the way there. Uh, we we had a little bit of a stop. I'm going to do a bit of a plug for one of your dealers, but MoBiz, uh, your dealer okay, down yeah. here in Monroe, Louisiana, a biscuits throw from Arkansas. I'm told, um, hundred years, hundred years. So you had a whole team down there. What'd you hear about that event? Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, you know, I wish I could have went. I, obviously, I, I had to go to Print United for the first day, and I know the rest of the team came the second day. Um, but it may, I mean, you think about that, 100 years in business. So, you know, everyone talks about, oh, the, the industry is changing. This is changing. Well, they figured out how to do it for 100 years, right? Yep. Um, their business model has changed. The categories have changed. They've adjusted. But to think that 100 years in business and, you know, talking to the team, John and Mark and, and Bob and others, they were like, that was an amazing uh, event. Just spending time with, you know, with Chap and the team, just really understanding all about their business. Amazing. So, well, as you know, it. honestly, to, to think about it, right? I mean, it's it's a very small town. It was one of the smaller yeah. airports I've been in. And here's a company, it's 100 years old, and they've been making a living selling technology in, you know, in a very rural uh, demographic. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a town involved, but, but, you know, outside of that town, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty sparse. It's spread out. And these guys have been doing it for 100 years. They've got, um, you know, they had a big day and a lot of clients came in. You, you guys sent some some executives and um, it was just Bob Goldberg was there. It was just a really nice trip. Uh, gr great to see those guys. And it's, you know, one of many uh, companies in this industry that have been doing it forever. And and so this technology that we're all, all, all doing, it's it's an evolution, um, you know, to your credit. That's why you're bringing out products like that, you know, that um, that production print, that color. Uh, looking ahead to, to, well, actually, before we get ahead, you, you you mentioned you had a really good year this year, and or, or you're having a really good year this year. Where's that coming from? What's um what's been the big upside for you guys so far this year? Yeah, you know it's um it's really been widespread, which is really fascinating to me because you know we've uh you know typically you see kind of a surge in one area or maybe you know your larger dealers might you know do really well. Um, what's amazing to me is we've had a lot of dealers who typically don't do that much with us. They're smaller size dealers. Um, and they're winning a lot of business. So, you know, it's what's funny. Um, we've had three or four dealers that are in that million, million and a half dollar purchases from us, right? Uh, typical year, who are over three, three and a half million dollars this year. Um, they won some large deals. Um, you know, they've, they've expanded their business. It, this, this right now um, seems to be, you know, all uh, the rising tide is raising all boats. I will say that the surprise has been uh, monocrylle. Um, you know, and, and I'll be honest, if you're a sharp dealer, um, let me just say right now, I am sorry. We, with four models, we got very tight on, um, on inventory, but year over year, they grew 250%, um, versus the previous period. So it, you know, we just got caught off guard. We are, we are caught up now, um, you know, here in December, but, uh, you know, as I was saying at the time, you know, when, when something grows that fast, we're, we're pumping out, you know, 200% of what we did the year before. Um, but you're short and, you know, that's never good. So, you know, we are caught up now. We did a lot of air shipments to catch up on the monochrome, but who would have thought, you know, six months ago that your fastest growth category would be monochrome products. Um, so, you know, particularly four models, a couple large deals, but it really goes to show the, the resiliency of the market. Um, something, a category where nobody said, you know, at the start of the year, Hey, let's go focus on our monochrome strategy. Right. Uh, but yet that exploded. So, um, very resilient business, but exciting to see everyone participate in it, which is really the fun for us. Well, you, you know, we had a tough year. I mean, some of the some companies really, you know, and, and part of it was just the explosion in certain areas catching up. Uh, some of it was um, issues due to just, you know, let's just call them politics. And, and we've got some companies that are, you know, struggling to fill some orders right now. Um, but we, we've we're at a point we're going into 2024. Um, you got you got a bit of a head of steam. Uh, where, what are you looking forward to? Where are things going? Um, what, what's, what's coming for sharp in the next, uh, next 12 months? I think, you know, for us, obviously the continuation, we'd love to keep the momentum going on our document side of the business. I mean, um, you know, we've, we've had five straight years of, you know, pretty solid growth, uh, double digit growth pretty much every year. Um, so, you know, eventually, you know, logic says, how long can you keep doing that? Yeah. How long can you keep doing that? Um, and so, you know, obviously we want to keep that going. Uh, we, we, we are forecasting again, double digit growth in 2024. So, uh, you know, we see a path and, and we see how we get there. The other parts are really continuing the diversification of our product line. Right. So, you know, most of the people who watch your, you know, your shows 
will be in a document space, but we're seeing more and more of them take on our displays, more and more of them take on our, our laptops. So that's becoming a very strong part of our business, uh, very important in this in this channel because it's helping the dealers, our dealers at least, diversify. And so that's, you know, that's going to be a big focus again next year. And we've taken a lot of steps to make sure that that happens effectively. So that's going to be my big project uh, on top. But, you know, if I look at it, it's kind of opposite if you think about it. It's production print and then it's diversification um, with, with other technologies. So it, it definitely is. It's, it's, um it's a crazy, you know, year just, just coming out of, I mean, everything slows down at this point of the year, right? Your, your travel slows down, your, your customers aren't buying as much. And then we hit January and it's just insane. Right. And you've got to have all your plans mapped out. You have to, you know, all your initiatives where, and you've kind of already got them going from this year. So it's really just carry over. But uh, in the midst of this, we have all these other things that we're doing, like like shows and conferences. I'm sure I'll be seeing you and your team at the uh, the POA kickoff. Um, Visual Edge has another one. I don't know if you guys go to that one. Um, we'll be at that as well. But then right in the middle of that, we've got a big one. Uh, Mike Stromali would kill us if we didn't talk about ECS, you know, the Executive Connection Summit. Uh, once again, you you are going to be uh, uh, taking some uh, a, a decent part in that. Tell us what your uh, participation is going to be like this year. You know, I think it's a great event. So, you know, I'm not I'm not shilling for Mike right now. I, I love it because it really brings everyone in the industry together, um, you know, that allows us just to talk about the issues of the industry, what's going on, what we're seeing. It's not, not there really uh, to position yourself against someone else as much as just talk about things, right? There's always other interesting speakers. Um, you know, I joke with Mike, uh, you know, spoke in the last uh, two years. I'll speak again this year. I'm running out of things to say. I'm not that smart. Um, I don't have that much to offer. But, um, you know, we love we love participating, sponsoring the event because I think it's a great forum uh, to share ideas. And it really, you know, I don't know um, where else you get the who's who list of the industry like you do with that event. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, if I, if I look at the cost effectiveness of my time, um, what a great event. Uh, literally everyone I, I would love to talk to is typically there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very excited about that. But, yeah, that, that's a, those first two weeks. Uh, you know, are, are a little um, crazy, uh, you know, in, in all the kickoffs and activities and events, but uh, it kind of gets your adrenaline going, right? Uh, you know, to start the year and and hopefully have a strong one. So I'm looking yep. forward to it, though. It's, 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 I mean, it's a great start to the year, right? And it's, a, you know, for anyone watching, uh, it's, it's easy to attend. We, I can get you in touch with people who can uh, explain it to you, the details, give you the details. It's in Arizona. It's a couple, a uh, couple, two, three nights in Arizona at the right time of the year for me, for you as well, to get out of Rochester. There's some golf involved, but the best part is it's just com companies like you, uh, senior, senior executives at, at, um, your company, at, at your competitors, uh, uh, big dealers, little dealers, uh, all sizes, everyone's pretty much represented there. So it's just, um, and then just the, the speakers and the panels, it's, it's a really good couple of days. It sets the tone for the year. So, um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, before we, you know, wind down, looking ahead, what, what are some things you think for our industry going over maybe the next six to 12 months? What are some things, some speed bumps you, you're, you got your eye on? You know, always you're looking at the economy, you're looking at, you know, interest rates, you know, we're leasing business, obviously interest rates are coming down, which are good, but they're still pretty high. So, you know, compared to when we wrote these leases three or four years ago, um, you do a renewal, you know, it's a little bit of a challenge. And so there's pressures there. I think obviously, you know, we're all looking at how do you expand your business? And for us, that's obviously, you know, we, we've done that display uh, acquisition a few years ago. Um, that's a big project for us right now, honestly, where we're beginning to take in, um, you know, the NEC operation, which is, you know, was a joint venture we did with NEC. Um, but now we're rolling it into Sharp. Um, you know, it's kind of typical of a, you know, addition, mature industry. Too. You know, yeah, it's a mature great industry. Products, so. Great products. I mean, just, yeah. it's just, it's what doubles or triples what you guys already had easily. That's it. It, it, it. It's tremendous. And so, you know, we, you know, a lot of work there, right? We've combined our programs now. Uh, we combined authorizations for the NEC and, and, and Sharp people. Uh, you know, we've now, uh, the big project right now is January 1. Uh, all the former, what we call legacy NEC people will be, be joining Sharp Corporation. Uh, and be employees of Sharp. So, you know, we're beginning to really take advantage of that. And then you'll see over next year, the product lines transfer and branding from Sharp or NEC to Sharp. And so, you know, we're excited about that. Um, it's it's really, you know, kind of what we did with Dynabook where, you know, we, we did that JV and then we we rolled that business and acquired the remaining shares of, of the Toshiba uh, laptop business. We're doing the same, you know, here with uh, NEC to kind of bring it all together. So it really rounds out our line. 
which I think for us is critical. And, I, you know, so if you ask speed bumps, right, it's, you know, dealers looking at, you know, maybe a slowdown in print or, you know, those what I talked about lease rates going up and things like that, or at least being higher than they were when you wrote it originally. There's all these other opportunities. There's all these other technologies. And, and we're seeing that on our direct branch side where, you know, we're selling all those other technologies and it's accelerating our growth. So, you know, that really is a great way to go to existing customers we already have satisfied um, and then go in and sell other technologies. And it's really hard to lose the copier business, right? So for me, um, that's, you know, that's kind of a big focus for us is bringing that, those uh, teams together now and, and really helping the dealer community drive their business in diversification. I hope they pick us. Uh, there's a lot of paths to diversification, right? Yeah. Uh, well, you've added so much too. I mean, to their portfolio. So, I mean, it's not. It's clearly not just about printers for you guys. And um, the diversification message is very strong with you. But it's you know, it's back to the point we made earlier. Look, these are hundred year old companies. They didn't sell copiers a hundred years ago. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I look. Um, you know, one of the big areas of growth for us is, and, and I never would have thought this, right? So, you know, a lot of our uh, dealer community is is big in school districts and education. And, um, you know, believe it or not, uh, direct view LED, those scoreboard type uh, products, that is huge. And I am amazed at how many copier centric dealers are now selling scoreboards for the schools. Because well, Chip Maselli, so much- he's, he's put a couple of them up there up in, um, yeah. up, up in Illinois. So, yeah, I mean, that there's a market for it. If you've got if you if you can supply these guys, look, they've got salespeople. They're hungry. They'll sell anything. I know how I was. You know, I would sell whatever I whatever that I thought that customer wanted. I would sell it. And I think most salespeople are kind of like that. And you figure it out later. Right. Yeah. Well, you got you know, you, you already have the customer. Right? You're already in the school district. And they have yeah. so much money to spend right now with the technology funding that the government put out there. And you go in and say, hey, upgrade the scoreboard. You can sell advertising on it now, right? It's a, it's a digital scoreboard versus a static one. Yep. Um, there's revenue generation for the school district. So, you know, you look at all those things and you really start seeing the synergies of all the categories. And, you know, everyone understands a projector and a, you know, an aquas board in a classroom, right? That That's so obvious. Uh, but, you know, when, when I started seeing how many dealers were selling scoreboards um, and video walls, uh, you know, obviously it was working corporate customers too, but, it really just is right up our alley, um, you know, with, with K through 12. So, yeah, again, I look at it, you know, people always say, uh, you know, you're optimistic. And I know everyone goes, oh, you're supposed to say you're optimistic, right? <laughs> it's kind of the job description. But you also look at it and go, well, here's why. You know, you're seeing all those opportunities. You're seeing the dealers take advantage of them. Uh, you got big dealers doing it, you got small dealers doing it. It really is a tremendous growth opportunity and locks down your customer, right? And none of that stuff is done alone. I mean, it's all through partnerships and that's where you come in, right? I mean, that's exactly the whole model that you built for the last 40, 50 years with these guys. Exactly, exactly. Well, awesome. This was great. I appreciate you taking the time and your schedule to sit down with us today. And I hope you guys there at Sharp have a great holiday season. Uh, Any last shout outs you want to make to anybody? Well, I just want to thank all of our dealers. I don't this probably be the only time I get to do face to face, but thank you again for a, a tremendous year, all the support. Um, we look forward, you know, we we continue to try to find ways to support you better. And hopefully uh 2024, you end the year next year saying that was a great year for Sharp, a great year for your dealership. Um, that's the most important thing for us right now is how do we continue to grow those dealers? So I appreciate all the support. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Andy, for giving us uh, the time. I do get to take off my jacket. I thought it'd be nice, you know. Um, to show you the respect of your your esteemed level well, in the industry you. by dressing up for you. But I can assure you this jacket's off in about 10 minutes. <laughs> so is mine. So is mine. But it looks good on the camera. Thank you so much. And uh, have a great holiday, great New Year. And we will talk very soon. We'll see you in the, on the other side of the New Year. Great. Thank you, Andy. Good talking yep. to you. Bye.